Hey guys, this is Left Technical, and I'm going to talk about using the Web Client class to download files. So I'm going to double click on the download button here to generate a, an event handler. Uh, but first I'm going to talk about what I'm doing. Uh, this is the text box that's going to accept our URI, and it's called UI Text Box. And this is the web, web browser to the left. To the right I've got the contents text box to show the contents of the file. Okay, so in the download button, uh, click Event Handler. We're going to create a web client, and that resides in the System.net namespace. Web client is equal to new web client, and uh, I should actually. I'm going to put this all in a try catch block for now. Try no try. Okay, stream stream is equal to web client dot open read. Now before I do that, I'm going to explain these methods to you. This open read class here, this uh, downloads a file into a stream, and an even lower level way of doing it is using the download data method which will download a file into a buffer and you can also download a file to the disk for now we're going to use the stream because it's downloading to the application and it's not it's very workable as it is you have you also have options to upload data and there are events that will raise when you when you uh, complete the downloading processes um, but uh, I haven't I haven't been able to get them to be raised I don't know why they're not working for me but for now we're just going to use this try block to do it all so uh, open read and then text or contents no URI textbox.text and then stream reader stream reader is equal to new stream reader and then pass in our stream and I am going to create a collection so collection string collection string Okay, and I'm going to create a little buffer for our while loop. While, and this you should know of this. I shouldn't have to explain it to you. Um, stream reader dot read line is not equal to no. Okay, and we are going to add the string to the line. Uh, sorry, we're going to add the line uh, string to our string collection. String collection dot add string. Or sorry, line. Okay. After that's finished, I am going to. As I'm going to load this text into the text box. So the contents text box. So lines equal to string collection to array. Okay, and after that we're gonna load the contents into the web browser. Web browser dot document text is equal to contents text box dot text. Okay. And I need a catch block. So just going to write in unspecific cache block here. Message box dot show. Very good. Build succeeded. All right, so let's find a file to download. I'm going to go to my website and copy this link address here. This download link address. Copy it into the um, URI text box and hit download. And you'll see that we have a nice little um, 
nice little display here in the web browser. It's kind of all squished, squished together. And the actual file, the contents of the text file. Okay, so let's actually let's download a website now. Let's go to a lightweight website, google.ca. Oxygen. It's not what I wanted. Okay, so google.ca, copy that link, run the run the um, downloader, and download Google. And obviously I'm going to get some script errors because I'm not downloading all of the contents required for the site. So here are the contents of the HTML page right here, which I do I, I do believe it's HTML. Yeah. Oh, I was just wondering to see if it was like XHTML or something crazy. Alright, so yeah, you've got uh, the website to the left here. Not all the contents are downloaded, but the file itself, the website, is downloaded. So this is the web client class. You can use it to download any file you want or you have access to on the internet. Um, you can load it into a stream, a buffer, or you can download it to your drives. You also have upload functions, like I said, and uh, if you want speed, definitely load them into a stream. Um, it's better to not. It's better to uh, avoid loading, uh, downloading files to disk, and then loading it back up into the application. I mean, it's okay if you're just doing it to disk and not doing anything else with it, but if you're loading it into the application load it directly into memory. Very good. So this is Left Technical. Hope you learned a bit about the web client class. I'll see you later.